everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Today's video is going to be a top 10 how to get into the festive spirit. Ooh. So by now, you should be in the festive spirit. We've only got 13 days to Christmas, but if you're not, I've got the top 10 ways you to get in the festive spirit. Number one. Say hello to Lucky. Hello, baby. <laughs> okay, that's not actually a top 10, but just look at you, mate. You're so cute. Right, so. On to number one. First one on my list is get a Christmas jigsaw. I know, very different, but trust me, nothing better than doing a Christmas jigsaw. Especially when the family and friends come around, you know, if you can, the whole COVID thing. Um, but so, especially when your friend, family and friends come around, it's an amazing thing you can do. Everyone helps you out. And if they don't, you stay up till Christmas Eve and you complete it. Yep, that is me every year. Number two. Don't forget to listen to your Christmas music. I'm talking everywhere. When you're in the shower, when you're in the car, when you're making tea, or when you're um, doing some work. Christmas music gets everyone in the mood, and if you want to check out a really good playlist, go onto Spotify, and then you're gonna go onto the search menu, you're gonna put Marcus is Live, that's me, and you're gonna load up the top 40, see that? Christmas song, it's gone. And give it a follow, 71 other people have. Ooh. Number three. It's Christmas movies. You gotta be watching a Christmas movie at least every two days. I'm not gonna lie. Or even every other day. Nope, that's the same as every two days. So, either every other day or every day, watch a Christmas movie. These can be any sort of Christmas movies. What I'll do, I'll put up a little, uh, press the little eye up here, and you go to the Christmas uh, movie video I put up just recently. Um, what movies how will I recommend? Uh, Christmas of the Cranks? Duh. Go watch that one. Very festive. And then also, if you really need some help getting the festive spirit, The Polar Express. Mm -hmm. On to number four. Number four is going to be getting in your car, or on your bike, or going for a walk around your local streets and looking at all the Christmas lights. People are, nowadays are putting on amazing displays, and even um, some whole streets are doing like little Advent festive you know, putting up things. Um, Nicole's parents are actually um, part of one and they had lights to go up on um, Monday. So have to, maybe you have to pull out in the video. But yeah, so um, every day, each of the houses take it in turns to put up some, uh, put up their lights and turn lights on and da-da. And just like my mum and dad, in my mum and dad's street, all of them have lights. Don't they, Lakey? All of them have lights. And Lakey loves looking at the lights, don't you? All of them. So yeah, that's what I recommend. Getting in your car, or going on your bike, or just going for a nice general walk. And uh, remember, be safe though. Just checking out all the Chris lights that's going on. It's quite amazing to see. And then you can also then get ideas to uh, to do on your house. Mm -hmm. Also, it's such a nice thing to do, especially when you have children. Because I remember I used to have some great memories when I was younger of going uh, Christmas light hunting, and we used to quit. And we drive on all the roads, looking at all the amazing lights, and huh. I love Christmas lights. On to number five. Number five is going to be festive bacon slash cooking slash drink making. Hey, no man. I'm talking mulled wine or eggnog. Click this also. Uh, click in the bar down below and you'll see the eggnog video I made. Um, so you can also make some uh, cookies or some sort of, um, you know, I'm talking about Christmas tree cookies and decorating them. Kids love that, and you know what? You love that too, and getting you in a festive spirit. You can also do, what else could you do, Lakey? Make gingerbread houses, very fun, isn't it, Lakey? Yeah? And if you really want to, why don't you go sample all the pigs and blankets um, from all local supermarkets to work out uh, which ones you use on Christmas Day. No. On to number seven. So number seven is gonna be Secret Santa. Even though you're stuck in, you can get your friends and family to do a Secret Santa. Why not? Bit of fun. Or your work colleagues. You don't even have to see anyone. You can send it all out and then you all like go on Zoom or something and arrange to open the gifts at the same time. It's always fun. Buying gifts is always a fun way and it always gets me in the festive spirit. Especially this year when I was like buying gifts for, for Nicole and Link. It got me in a massive festive spirit just thinking of um of their joyful faces opening the gifts. So, Secret Santa could be the same. Buy a gift for your friends and family, and you know, Secret Santa is just such a great fun thing to do. On to number eight. Number eight is gonna be hosting a festive party. But Marcus, we're in COVID-19. Oh no! Don't worry guys, I got you. Host a Zoom! Or FaceTime, or Facebook cool thing. 
party. That's what we're doing this year with our friends. We're doing um, a little secret Santa, linking into the other one, and I'm going to go around, drop it off to all, all of our friends and family with their um, Christmas cards, and then um, we're going to, you know, swap all the presents around, and yeah, that's what we're going to do for the secret Santa. So that'd be, that'd be one thing. And then we've just got different um, plans, maybe for different rounds, don't we, Lakey? So maybe, um, maybe with all your friends and family, you could arrange to have like the same sort of foods or have the same sort of drinks. Uh, maybe you could do like different rounds where people might like, take um, charge of different, um, like just take charge of the different rounds. Maybe the one couple do a Pictionary round and then everyone has to then do the Pictionaries. Maybe the other couple do like charades or... You say hi? Do you want to get involved, do you? Say hello then, Lakey. Who's that? Hey, baby! Yay! Woo! Woo! Look at that, you're hitting Bruno, are you alright, Bruno? Yeah, I'm alright, Dad. You having fun? Yeah, you can host, you can host a festive um, party like that, but maybe on Zoom and just, you know. The main thing is you're having, you're having fun with your friends, and you just gotta keep having fun with your friends. Because even though we're locked down, you can't really see each other, it's nice to, you know still be able to communicate with them and just wish each other a Merry Christmas. Number nine, if you haven't already, in 13 days of Christmas, if you haven't put your tree up, some lights in the hallway, you better get doing it, all right? Stop being a Scrooge, go put your lights up, and if you're lucky enough to have a house, put some lights up outside. Get those outdoor lights going. I'm talking icicles, I'm talking blow up Father Christmas that just waves around everywhere. Yep. When I get a house, I can have all of that. <laughs> um, so if you haven't already, decorate your house. Even if you just put some little like, bunting up on that like we have. Um, make sure you get your tree up. <laughs> Seeing this every morning really does make my day. I love it. We cut, I come in the morning, I turn on the light. Like this little light over here. And I put the lights on. And it lights all up like so festive. And it's just amazing to look at. Let me turn this light off. Oh, oh, oh one one. -da, dee -dee 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 -dee. So I literally have it like that. So that's on like that. Nice low light. And we just have this on. And it just makes it all so festive. Right, back on now because you can't see me. And on to number 10, the final one on the top 10 list. This one is a fun one. I love it because I love food. Nicole gave me this idea. Go around trying different festive menus. One of my most favorite things to do was going around and trying all the different festive foods that everyone else is doing. Especially McDonald's. Oh, their little cheese things. Ooh. And a double Big Mac, because who doesn't love a Big Mac? Oh, yeah, like Nicole just said. Don't forget the Costa menu with all the different hot chocolates. Mmm, so delicious. And also uh, Starbucks. Starbucks also do a... Yeah, Starbucks do an egglog latte. Mm, delicious. So yeah, so that's what we gotta do guys. Go out and try the different festive menus. So that is 10 ways to get in the festive spirit. And if you're not a festive spirit by then, come on, get there. It's only 13 days to go. So if you have any other ways to get in the festive spirit, comment down below. Please don't subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 13. Bye!